Hey there you guys, it is me, Random Josh, and we are back again with another Random Monday video. And today, as you can tell, is a morning routine video. Um, so this was suggested back on one of my face mask videos by the user called Great Person, who said that I could actually either do a day in my life or a morning routine. And I was, at first, to be honest, I was sitting there like, this is never gonna happen, my life is so boring, I don't really do anything particular, like there's nothing specific for me, but I thought we'd do this. So I usually start my morning off, as you can see, very dead. <laughs> so I will literally fidget around for about a good few hours, especially like when my alarm goes off at like 7, I will fidget around and I'll wake up partially and then I'll go back to bed again and then I'll wake up a little bit and then go back to bed again and it's a constant loop until I just get fed up and actually decide to wake the hell up um, and obviously this is an example for my weekend routine more than my weekly routine because during the week I obviously have to get up early to get to work and do all of that kind of stuff so once I've woken up I the first thing that I tend to do is actually go to the bathroom <laughs> I find after a long night like obviously yeah you're not coming in with me <laughs> yeah after a long old night it's the first thing that just kind of comes to you you just need to either have a wee or whatever which is beautifully pleasant of course <laughs> but yeah so that's like how I start my mornings freshen up myself with a wee <laughs> um, and then from here I will probably yeah, turn the light back on jump straight back into bed and do some kind of activity here I'm doing some reading because I actually really need to do some more reading in my life because I keep forgetting to because I get distracted by every other thing in my life but yeah so I was reading the Scorch Trials which I love the films and I love the books as well actually they're really really good but um it'll either be something like this reading or I will be on my phone playing a game if there's like a really addictive game out and you know I'm really addictive or I'll even just be checking my social meets or planning out some videos or something fun like that and then I will actually drag myself out of bed and actually put my little cozy dressing gown on which just makes my mornings really nice especially in this kind of weather that we're having at the moment it's not very warm it's quite cold over the cold months so I really do enjoy wearing my lovely dressing gown which does make my bum look big <laughs> and then I will come downstairs into the kitchen as you can see we've got our little Costa um, pots there the pods I should say and I will actually start my morning off with a nice cup of coffee. I do this a lot more when I'm at work. Like during the weekends, not so much, but as soon as I get into work, I always have to have my cup of coffee there so that I can really wake up and get into my day of work. But this morning I thought I'd have a cup of coffee as well, which is lovely. Cups of coffee are just so damn it nice. I love it. Now I never used to be too big of a fan of like hot drinks and teas and coffees. I don't really drink tea, I drink herbal teas here and there like peppermint, I love peppermint tea. Um, but coffees I've just really started to begin drinking a lot more and I think that's because being in a working scenario it's just more common I guess. Anyway, let's get on to the next step of my morning, which is breakfast. So yeah, you can see here I'm cracking my eggs because I'm actually going to make an omelette. And yeah, I love omelettes. Like, I don't usually eat a full proper breakfast like this during the week. It's only weekends where I'll actually cook something, make something from scratch just to, you know, eat properly because in on weekdays I don't usually have much time like especially when I'm going to training which is up in London it 
I need to be at the train station pretty early, which is really difficult sometimes. So I tend to have like really small breakfasts, like I'll just have cereal bars <laughs> because I'm constantly like on the move and on the go to different places, which is difficult. So these are like my weekend treats, but I've started trying to not have carbs as much, if you know what I mean. So just having an omelette is quite nice and I'm making it with mushroom. My cutting skills are absolutely off point today. Like when I was doing this, I was like, what is my life? Why is it not cutting properly? But I just kind of went with it. <laughs> so yeah, I just popped that all into my little egg mixture. I did add some salt and pepper, of course, to just just to season it, just, just add a little bit of something different. And of course, we've got some cheese because for some reason I have a obsession with cheese and eggs. I think eggs is just like really good because it's protein and stuff. But cheese, I don't have a clue why. I've just recently started eating a lot of cheese. But cheese is so beautiful. Love cheese. Like, I don't know why I love cheese, but I just. It's just sometimes, you know, you get those weird cravings. The, this is what I crave sometimes. It's just eating a block of cheddar cheese. <laughs> it's so weird. But yeah, and then you just kind of mash that in. And I did crumble it just so it kind of melted a bit more evenly. And of course, I had to break off a bit for myself to just eat while I was, you know, doing the cookie, 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 cookie. So yeah, in my hot little pan, I throw it all in and once again I have to say this because I feel like a lot of people will probably judge my cooking skills I, I don't think I put enough oil in when I did this so it did keep sticking to the bottom of the pan and it kind of does fall to pieces I mean it does have its omelette shape at the end but like yeah so yeah just fry 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 but like recently when I do my omelettes, I'm like, I don't want to put too much olive oil in the pan because I don't want it to be oily. So I've tried cutting down on things like olive oils. But then this stuff freaking happens. So clearly I've got to make that change and start using some more olive oil again. But yeah, stresses of my life. You can see it just looks a mess. Oh dear. It's great fun though. I, d I don't actually mind cooking in the mornings as much as it can be quite stressful. Especially when it falls to pieces and doesn't look right, like you will probably be seeing right now. Look at that, it just, you can see it's just. <laughs> oh dear, I'm a great chef really. I can cook for myself. But yeah, this is kind of just lame at the moment, just, you know, watching me cook. <laughs> um, I do just have to, like, really reiterate, though, that all of your suggestions that you put in are so helpful to me. It makes me feel really good as well. I'm not gonna lie, like, it just makes me know that you guys are really watching and it's telling me what you want to see, and all of that stuff. But yeah, so at this point I'm just here chilling, eating my food, you know, the norm. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's not much else to say about eating food. Excuse the hair though, I actually really need to get a haircut, like, it is so fluffy. Um, it's kind of crazy. It's so gross and blah, blah, blah. It's just like the front bit, the front section just does whatever, but the back bit just does nothing. And I'm like, can you just kind of go the halfway? But maybe not. <laughs> I mean, obviously not. So anyway, once I've done all of that, I've eaten my breakfast. I then come all the way back upstairs again. And it's brushing teeth time. I usually like leave a little bit of time between eating and brushing my teeth, but you know, you know the norm. Just brush your teeth, cleanse that mouth, cleanse your palate. 
and I use an Oral-B toothbrush and I think I have Colgate toothpaste. <laughs> Excuse the face there, that was beautiful. And yeah, I try and rinse my mouth out and stuff with just the water. But yeah, and then we're going to move on to having our little wash. Obviously I'm not going to show you my wash, but as you can see at this point we are actually doing the shave and the products that I use are the Gillette MAC 3 Complete Defense against razor burn. This has extra comfort guys and this is shave gel. So yeah it kind of comes out in that blue gel white consistency. You don't need much but you just rub that into your hand and then coat your face. <laughs> And make yourself a lovely white beard with it. <laughs> As you can see me doing ever so beautifully. Yeah. I was just drying my hands up because I got it everywhere, you know. Now yeah, you've got to just try and do this, stretching out your skin each time you do it, and just re going over all the areas that you miss. Um be careful when you do things like this because you can cut yourself and it's not the most pleasant feeling ever, believe me. I know it looks effortless, you know, <laughs> I'm so majestic with it, but honestly the amount of times I cut myself is unbelievable. It's not fun. And it's very painful. Especially when you do things like putting aftershave on after. And you've got like you accidentally do cut yourself it freaking burns like a little bitch <laughs> and i often do miss like have it really patchy especially if i'm in a rush if i've got more time then i take a lot more care and attention with it all as you can see here but it just like the stuff goes everywhere so you have to clean your face off after and then i finish it off by using the Nivium for Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm and this is 0% alcohol so it means that there are no, there's no burning which I really enjoy because my skin is so sensitive and it just burns with everything so yeah and then we go back into my bedroom and we get ready of course <coughs> sorry guys obviously I wasn't going to show you me getting dressed but yeah I just you know, the normal get interest. <laughs> and then I'm actually putting on my Calvin Klein. I did miss a few times the first two sprays. I don't know how, but that is Calvin Klein 1. And I love that. It's a new one I've got for Christmas. It's, it just smells nice for an everyday smell. And then I did go back in with some Carmex on my lips just because of recent my lips have been rather dry so that just kind of gives them a bit of that moisture booster moisture booster moisture boost and plump in the lips which is nice thanks you guys for watching i really hope you enjoyed that really weird kind of video um yeah anyway i will see you in the next video Peace out, bitches.